video. So today I'll be filming this look all with first impressions and I used some really good ones so if y'all want to see how I created this look with new makeup then go ahead and keep watching. Okay so first off what we're going to be starting with is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face to Face 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 and I will be taking this on this little beauty sponge. Um, this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to take the sponge and dip it in here. Just pat it in the skin. It smells really good. It smells like fruit, kind of. Not fruit, but like citrus, like oranges and limes. I don't know. That kind of. And it's kind of tacky on the skin. I mean, it is just a face base, so what it is is a rich in feel but never greasy, the unique moisture creates the perfect base for flawless makeup application. Shea butter provides daily moisturizer and softens skin while vitamin C and E help protect against environmental damage. So this is our primer and I really do like it. It feels like really lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. Like I've used a few um, primers that feel heavy. But now we're going to go in with the um, photo finish primer water over top of this because you can never have too many primers and this is let's see what it says on here this water is infused with electrolytes to prime by misting to create our sheerest canvas for makeup hydrate skin for hours and revitalize complexion to boost radiance so we're just going to take this and get this spray okay Okay. Okay. It smells good, but I feel like it doesn't like mist enough, if that makes sense. Um, we're just gonna let that dry. I don't know, I feel like my skin looks better already from that Bobbi Brown primer. Maybe it's just me. I don't know, but I like it a lot. Next, we're going to be taking the Hourglass Vanish Stick, and I also have the Dior Air Flash, but I think we're going to save that for another video because I'm kind of scared of it. Like, I don't know why, but I am. I don't have blender anyways, but I'm just going to take this. It says not to do it heavy on the cheek. Watch, probably way too much. Like, I just don't know how much is too much. You know what I mean? You know? So I'm just gonna go in. Yeah, I don't like the brush. I'm just gonna use my beauty blender. I'm just gonna go in. And it's really thick. Oh, that's not gonna work. This is the MAC 196 brush. Is um, that it? I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more in places that I think I need it. Cause it is full coverage, so I want to see how, not how full coverage, but like, what this foundation is all about. Oh, I already messed it up. Oh well. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender. I'm just kind of blend out those super harsh lines. Let's keep playing with it a little bit. Like, I like it. It's not too heavy. Like, 
but I don't think I put that much on. I don't know, I kinda did. But I don't know, I feel like I can't feel it like on the skin and I like that. Everybody has raved about, and I've had this since, when have I had this by? I've had this for a super long time and I've just been saving it for this video. So I'm really excited. Sorry, I've used like every powder, so I'm just gonna stick with my favorite. Um, I'm going to use the Airspun powder. And I'm just going to take this with this little beauty sponge, the Real Techniques one, and just bake under my eyes. So now that's all done. So I know in my, ooh, there's powder all over me. I know in my um, face chart video, I attempted to use the NARS Laguna Bronzer. Well, today we're going to attempt to use it again. Cause I really want it to work. Cause I've heard so many good things about it. So I just want it to work for me. So here it is. Little brush, like I usually do. We're gonna go with the super light hand at first because last time I went in with a super heavy hand and that was a mistake. To brush off all this bake. I didn't bake for that long because I don't want it to get to the point of bake and it gets cakey. You know what I mean? So for that concealer, it did crease a little bit, but every concealer creases on me. That's why I really like the Born This Way concealer because it doesn't crease on me. But other than that, I like the coverage, I like the color, I like everything about it. So I next, I'm going to be doing blush. And I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Party. Okay. And this is what it looks like. Can you see? I'm going to dip it in here. And just do a little bit by a little bit. Oh, I like this color. It's like not too pink, but it's not too dark, if that makes sense. To glow today, like super duper glow. So I have two products here, and I'm so excited. I've had this palette since my birthday, which was March 21st, and I am just now using it on April 26th. So it's been like a whole like month, pretty much. So I got the Celestial, or the Cover FX Custom Enhancement Drops. And so I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to put this on, and then layer it on top with the Nicole Guerrero Highlight Palette. So what I'm going to do is just, it comes out like a little dropper, like these, and you may just spread out. So I'm not going to go crazy with this, because I've seen this go wrong on a few people sometimes. So we're just going to put a little bit here, do a little bit there. That's all we're going to start with. Do y'all see that? Is that showing up on camera? I really hope it is. Um, the thing about it, is that it doesn't blend. Oh my gosh, it doesn't blend. Maybe if I do a little bit more. And I go and blend it super fast. Now we're really glowing. I'm living a, I mean, I wanted to glow, but like, not just like a strip. You know what I mean? All right. 
Okay, so it blended, but once you keep blending it so it's not a line, it just loses its color. So, I don't know how I feel about this. So we're just gonna go in. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that because it's pretty much all gone now for my face. So, it kind of stinks. But I'm going to go in with my Nicole Guerrero palette. I'm super excited. So I'll be taking Kitty Cat and Forever Lit. And I'll swatch those for you. This is my first time swatching too. So that is what they look like. Can you see that? Maybe. That's what I'm gonna be using today. So we're just gonna take a little bit of that. Okay, I see you. I see you shining through. So we're gonna do a little bit on my nose. Actually, I'm gonna do that. A little bit on my cupid's bow. Ooh. The Nicole Guerrero palette is a 10 out of 10, 100%. All the colors in here are perfect. Like everything about this palette is perfect. So I will be continue. I will continue to use this palette. So next we have our eyes. And today we'll be using the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I feel like everybody's reviewed this. Everybody has this. And I'm just late on the train, you know? So we'll be using this today. Still has the plastic on it. Okay, so it comes with this little brush, which I will probably not use. So this is what it looks like. And I'm very excited. So today I have a magnificent eyeshadow or Steel and Mag Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And it is in the color Rose Gold Retro. And I will swatch this for y'all because this will determine what I do. It's so pretty. Okay. So that is it right there. Can you see that? So that's it. So I'm going to do a kind of pinky, what's new, right? A kind of pinky, the pinky rose gold, obviously. So first I'm going to start off with Bueno Bon Fuesco, however you say this, but it's this color right here, the super light pink color. Just kidding, you gotta wait. So I'm going to prime my eyeballs with the heart shape tape. I'm going to go in and blend that out. I'm going to take what I do with it. This color, this pink color, like I said earlier. And put it right in the crease of the transition color. Okay, so that is that. That is the Bon Fosco color. Next, I think I'm going to take um, red ochre and I'm going to take that on this BH Cosmetics brush. It's like a little pointy brush. It's number 105. I'm just going to take this. And put it right here on the outer corner. It's not where I wanted it, but that's where I'm gonna say I want it because that's where I put it. And I think we're gonna do what I always do, the halo eye. So I'm gonna put it right here on the inner corner as well. I'm gonna take that same blending brush, that tapered blending brush, and go ahead and blend that all out. X 
next we're going to go in with burnt orange right here on that little blending brush that I just used. And we're just gonna put this right in the crease area, right at the top. I'm not gonna blend it anywhere else except for here. Okay, so next we're going to go in with Love Paletta right here. And we're just gonna put that right over top of burnt orange. Like not right on top, but like, like burnt orange is right here, we're going over top of it. Cause we don't want to completely cover up burnt orange, but we do want to cover it up a little bit so it does blend. Seamlessly. Next, we will be taking the Magnificent Metals, and it says, like on the box when I read it, it said to just apply it directly to the eye. And I am doing a halo eye, so. I will go back in and add more colors after this, and I'm going to, I don't know how fast this dries, so I'm going to take this little brush and blend it. So I'm going to go back in with this Urban Decay brush, and I'm going to take, um, Gypis Umber, whatever this shade is right here, this brown shade, I'm going to take that. and start blending that magnets and metals in. I'm just gonna keep going back and forth with these paper blending brushes and take burnt orange again. And blend it right here. And take love letter. Okay, so that is how the eyes turned out. I'm going to take a little bit on the end of this Urban Decay brush and put it under my eyes, and I'm going to take red okra. Next, I'm going to apply false eyelashes. These are well used, well worn, they fit my eye, so I think we're going to go in with these. Okay, these are the Ardell Mini Wispy Lashes, and I'm going to take them and put them on. First, I'm going to apply, apply a coat of mascara, and I will be using a new one today. This is the Mali More Is More Mascara. Okay, so we're just gonna go in and apply this mascara. Oh, and about that, um, what's it called? The Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Stila Magnificent Eyeshadow. I really like both of them. I give them both a 10 out of 10. Okay, so the eyelashes are, not the eyelashes, but my mascara is on, and I really like it. It's very light, but I'm, it, you can build it up. It's kind of like foundation, but you can build it up, and it doesn't clump your eyelashes together. I'm just going to put the eyelashes on off camera, so I will see y'all in a minute. Okay, so, my eyelashes are on, now I'm going to take, this isn't new, I'm sorry, but I'm going to, let's see if I have another one. I do, I do have a new one. Okay, so this is the Clinique Cream Sharper for Eyes, Cran 
um, eyeliner crayon. I'm just going to take this and tight line slash waterline. I'm going to take that same Mali mascara and I'm just going to blink so it blends my real eyelashes the fake ones and I'm just going to apply it on my bottom lashes And I also did not get a new setting spray, sadly. So I'm just gonna use my, oh, actually, forgot about lips. Um, I will be taking the Suede Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick in, by NYX. And it's, oh gosh, that's not gonna match. Let's find another one. But first, I'm going to line my lips with this. This isn't new either, but it's by It Cosmetics. Okie dokie. So I don't think I'm going to be using this. Sweat. I mean, let me. Let me just try it. I might make it super light. Oh god. So I'm not, I'm just gonna layer one on top, I think. Uh, this Tardis lip paint is by Tarte. And Just paint right on over that. I think that turned out honestly kind of good. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I do, but like, I don't know how y'all feel about it. I like it. I liked all the products that I used today. My favorite would probably have to be the Bobbi Brown Face Base and the Nicole Grow palette by far. Um, so I will check in with y'all today. I have to, uh, should I go? Yeah, I'll go. Today, I have to go to an interview or I have to turn an application for a job and then I am gonna go to school so that is that and I will come back later in the day and show y'all what it looks like, you know, throughout the day. See y'all in a few hours. It's a few hours later. It is 7.53, so that was like 12, 12? Was that 12 hours ago? Something like that, but it is 8 o'clock at night and I started filming this at 7.30 in the morning. So it held up pretty well, honestly. I'll zoom you in so you can see certain places where it got patchy. Um, it got in my smile line right here. The concealer stayed on good. So we'll just zoom you in and so I can show you and these lights are blinding me. Whew. Let's do it. But okay, if you can't tell my eyeshadow, whew, all of the eyeshadow came like off like the magnificent eye it came off which I don't know if that's normal or whatever but the eyeshadow itself stayed on so that was good um it did crease in my smile line a little bit it didn't really get patchy though I noticed that it just kind of clumped up if that makes sense um my bronzer is pretty much non-existent at this point but I did go through an interview and I went through school and then cheer afterwards um, it is a little cakey right here on my eyebrows and the mascara had a little bit of fallout but other than that it did really well and my lipstick obviously is not on anymore because 
everybody knows the lipstick comes off, but yeah, so I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. I'll just have to keep trying these products out to see how they wear with different products, if that makes sense. So that is how I feel about them. So I still really like them. Um, I was, oh, the foundation creased like in my neck roll. Um, so let's do that. But I will continue to use these products because um, I still do like them. As you can see, I'm in different clothes. These are my sheer clothes that I had to wear. But yeah, so that is how. I did get a little cake here on my nose right here. But other than that, I really like these products. So yeah, that was it. That's it for this video. And that was it for today's video. I hope you all liked it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And the little subscribe button is down below, so click it. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!